Alright, so today... Am I on the other side of my room again? Why is this even here? <laughs> today we're interacting with my computer again, because that's kind of just all this section is. You interact with the computer, something happens, you have to walk over to the computer to interact with it. It's very realistic now that I think about it. This is from my boss. Report immediately on what happened at the Babylon Shopping Center. Okay, Erika Yukawa. So no reply to my mails? Anyway, at least I know you're still alive. I, f I faxed you a map for the request you had. The atelier is called Gladiolus. The Sayame woman is a relatively well-known artist among the underground culture. She made a lot of strange digital content. Her partner for that digital work was Kamui. It's been said that Kamui was the real artist, and Ayame was just a simple programmer. The fact that these two formed a digital unit is not yet that well known to the public. So yeah, nice work in finding that out. But if you go to any random technotype club and listen to the wannabe artists and their rumors, everyone is talking about it, but still. By the way, you could at least let, tell me what exactly it is that you're looking into. Or did you forget to at least thank me? If possible, I'd like to talk to you directly, but whatever, for now I'll just leave you alone. I feel bad for Erica. And now, I to, why did they go out and then back in so I have to manually check today's word? Bad news travels fast. Wanting to divulge others' misfortunes is the way of the world. News of people's misfortunes reaches the farthest corners of the world quickly. Also, did, this one didn't have any, um, yeah. Okay, so we're good there. Gladiolus, what a weird ass name. I assume there was a kind of flower, is that not true? I mean, it's on the flower track, that's how names work, right? Here I am, Studio Gladiolus, got a big printer there in the corner. I like how printers still look like that to this day, like industrial ones. So Kimberly had a partner. What kind of woman is he on? What does she think of Kimberly? After being in contact with him for so long, can she even still be normal? Uh, no, the answer is no. She's close enough with him to be his partner. Was she scared? Was she angry? Or maybe something must have happened. She felt something. Well, I just went there to monologue, I guess. Going back to Typhoon, my home. This is a weird chapter, dude. This, I don't... <laughs> I don't understand what the structure of this is. Like, it seems to be going in circles a lot more than the, um, main chapters do. Emma. Ayami wasn't at Gladiolus. There were only detectives there. Ayami has been taken into custody. I had some tabloid writer get hold of her registration documents and copy them for me. But even that gives me no hint about her history. The place of origin had been written over numerous times and was finalized as unknown. It was basically just a waste of a piece of paper. More mysteries. This woman with no past is scary. What is Ayami? If I knew that, then I might figure out Kamui's deal. I also got some of the works they did together as digital partners. This looked like a bunch of crazy bullshit to me, though. Shit, another dead end. Yeah. Thinking about Kami, I remember the woman at Babylon. Why were the women afraid of Kamui? No, why were they filled with such emotion? No, 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 but wait. Was that really even fear? Were they not actually asking for help? From who? Me or Kamui? Or maybe that guy I apparently met at Babylon. Wolfgang, was it? Or the guy from the HC unit? Those women are somehow involved with Ayame. 
something going on here. I got my hands on a photo and Ayami is pretty beautiful. Yeah, I'm not sure yet, but I feel like something's about to connect. A little red. Send it to my boss, out of sight. So you heard about the Babylon incident. You hear I was there too? If so, this will go faster. I just so I just happened to see a woman getting killed there. Just that. There's something from after Camry's capture too. He was arrested at a woman's atelier. Her name's Ayami. She used to be Kam Kamui's digital partner. Also, I'm interested in Ayami now. So that's it for now. Don't keep sending me annoying ass mails every five minutes. You fucking weird ass pervert. Get you done telling you shit. <laughs> He's just gonna email that to his boss? That's, that's pretty cool actually. I like that. Ayami, I'll try checking her out a bit more. Oh, it's Homestuck Day. I'm in my room. 10 a.m. Quarter to 11, basically. I wonder what I'm gonna do today. Am I gonna go and look at my computer? Mm -hmm. I sure am. I should wonder if I should look out the window first, like if it'll do anything. The Annette news update, Kamui has been arrested. It was discovered that Kamui Uehara, who had been in hiding after killing five people, including two members of the security force, has already been arrest arrested by the 24 Ward's heinous crime scene. Nothing is done with the time, date, or place he is arrested. Kamui is currently reported to be in an extreme comatose state. And has not spoken a single time during interrogation. Yep. Love 1999 at EXE, same thing. I wonder if this is like the virus itself, this little post thing, or if it's just something weird. I don't know what the deal with that is yet. These guys sure have a lot of shit to deal with. Also, oh, I never checked out those websites that were in the game before. No memo. I went to the HC unit. With the big news, the media was pushing themselves in there like crazy, so I wasn't able to make it too sloppy. But I spoke with another detective named Nakatagawa. Thinking about thinking of Kusabi's position, I didn't use the name Ayami. Instead, I asked about the guy named Wolfgang. I suppose we met at Babylon. This guy is apparently totally useless. That is true, I am. I thought I might be able to ask this Wolfgun guy about what happened to me at Dablon, but... And Katagawa looked at me funny. Like, he looked really sketchy. Apparently I'm considered to be a reporter to Sabi News. That's helpful. I mean, I still use a fake news agency business card to get my reception, but still. So anyways, I have nothing special to report today. I need to lead on Ayame. It's going to be hard to get info from the HC unit. The world has finally found out that Kamui had been arrested. The media's in a panic. I guess for today I'll just boil up some spaghetti and watch TV or something. As you do, that's going to make me manually check the Daily Mail. Today's word, think in the bathroom. The best place for contemplation is in the restroom. Yeah, thanks. You know. Ah, uh, yeah, it's him. And Zoba might be worth talking to. Or I'll try to get him to talk. And we're just repeating the cycle here. 11.22 AM. This is kind of genuinely like when I wake up in real life too. Like I, I'm glad they made him relatable like that. And we will move, I'm going to here. I'm gonna check out this stuff here. Window, does that do anything now? Try to clean this window. Add to it red, add to it red. Alright, so that does nothing still. How about the telephone? And Zawa, what's his number? Oh, this does do something. So should I be using that more often? But did I miss out on some stuff potentially by just always going to my computer first thing? Yeah, it's me, and Zawa. 
Hmm, I'm rather busy right now. Come on, I want to ask you about some stuff. Like what? Put simply, you know that Ayame woman, right? Yes, I know her. And I was hoping you'd tell me what you know. I'll compensate you, of course. Ayame, huh? I am. Now that you mentioned it, I just remembered that I had wanted to meet with you. I'll be free around 5 o'clock. Okay, got it. I'll meet you at Prussian again. That son of a bitch, no about Ayame. Is that fucked up old man okay? And he had something he needed me for? Well then. So what would interacting with my computer there do? Like, would that just be a dead end? Because this was the event flag that got me forward, right? So do I need to be checking my phone every time, too? Which one do I check first? I don't... This whole section is real weird, I gotta see. And Zawa showed up wearing the exact same clothes as before. Even the habit of wiping his foot with a hand towel, nothing had changed at all. So, you know about Ayame, huh? Of course. She's Kamoi's ex-partner, after all. So for Kamoi maniacs, I guess that's common knowledge then. You're funny, Morishima. Huh? You even know that? Now, what kind of connections do you have, anyways? Among us maniacs, you're pretty famous, you know? No fucking way. Not really. Saturday go? Did you see Kamala? How did he look? What'd you think? I didn't see Kamala and nothing happened. Sorry, but it was just some woman on the ground. That's unfortunate. What kind of woman is Ayami? Don't think that Ayami is just some normal woman. What? Why? She's a special woman. You mean the camel? No. Ayame herself is special. I don't get it. So how exactly is she special? Well, no way, she may be above even camel. Her stage, that is. In fact, that she's a woman is important. Uh, why? A man, a man can only spread his seed. I don't like where this is going all of a sudden. But a woman is able to choose a seat and raise it, right? Hey man, I'm not asking to hear your weird ass theories. Yeah, I'm with you on this one, buddy. And maybe you'll understand if I put it this way. Ayami's very existence is bigger than Kamloy. At the very least, that's what I believe. She's a clever and cool and noble human being. She's not as savage as Kamloy, not as sharp edged, not transitory. From the time that Ayami started having special feelings for Kamui, something started changing. These special feelings aren't love or whatever. Ayami wanted Kamui. She simply desired him. So that Kamui's actions were, to Ayami, something to be hated. What Ayami desired was Kamui's child. Oh, what the hell. That's right. Ayami was trying to give birth to Kamui's child. But the self-preservation instincts of Kamui's seed wouldn't settle for Ayami alone as its garden. You're a real weirdo, aren't you, dude? Kamui needed many more women. It's likely because he wanted to create the next generation. That was the beginning of all this tragedy. Ayami tried to prevent that. The self-preservation instincts of Ayami's seed tried to leave behind only a single definite line. Like a sort of royal family. Only the unit of Kamui and Ayami, and those born from them would be chosen for the next generation. They didn't agree on that, which was correct, I don't know. But personally, Ayami's subtle yet strong spirit appeals to me. The blood throwing, flowing through her body is the most virtuous blood in this world. I don't like you, dude. Ayami's perfect. Isn't, is that just your imagination? It's the story of the truth inside me. The truth? What the fuck are you talking about? It's simple. Who is the real perpetrator? Morishima, you should know. 
the perpetrator. Hey, what the fuck are you? Of course this is all nonsense, my little joke. What the fuck is up with you anyways? I'm their neighbor. Neighbor. Listen, Marishima. Ayame has been arrested. Don't you have to go, Tokyo Morishima? The perpetrator. Fuck is it really? I... Babylon from that time... Hmm. Well, that was our event of the day. I gotta go back home. Mm-hmm. And so should I interact with my phone every day? I, I know I mentioned that before, but I still don't understand how that's supposed to be like paced out. Ayame was arrested, just as Hinsawa said. It was actually Ayame who killed five people in this Kamui case. When I went to the HC unit, HC unit again, it was even more hectic than when Kamui was arrested. I could barely even get inside. Cameras, light strobes, mics, and recorders. I just stood back and watched from afar for a while. After that, I was able to get Kusabi Kus Kus on the phone and spoke with him for a bit. A simple confirmations. He sounded fed up, but also relaxed. I think I am somehow able to calm people down. I also called Nakatagawa. He sounded pissed off. Maybe he just always sounds like that over the phone. He said I never saw Ayami with my own eyes. Well, Kamui neither, I guess. I'm just a by bystander. But thanks to the incident at Babylon, I feel like I've gotten caught up in another bit of trouble. To the point where there's no turning back. Ayami was pregnant, that's one fact. But what does that tell me? I can't understand the truth. And Saba's wrong, whatever he is. And whether or not it really was Ayami who killed all those people, and even if Ayami was pre really pregnant with Kamui's kid, nobody understands the truth about Ayami. Maybe Ayami is just a little lonely. Send my boss, and a boss my... Try me. <laughs> the Kamui case was actually the Ayami case. Ayami's motive was jealousy. I'm holding off on Babylon for now, I don't feel like writing about it. I'm sure you understand how now isn't really the time for that. Facts are facts. The truth is the truth. What Ayami needed was just a little bit of security. In my opinion, at least. And I, uh, yeah, we'll call it here now, again. This is a very slow section, I don't know exactly what I'm s what's happening here. 